You can't believe this. This is wrong. What? Something's wrong here. That can be wrong. Yeah, no, because these deals are so good, even a cheap Portuguese like me would buy one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how cheap these are. Oh, you know what? I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Somebody wants to give these away. <laughs> but no, all seriousness aside, these are all, honestly, these are all like killer deal right now. So, okay, let's first off um, break the mold here. We are standing in f inside a Thor sh uh, Chateau motor coach. Correct. So this is the 24F. Okay. So the beauty about this one is it's got a full side slide. It's insane how yeah. much room is in here. So, this is not your grandparents' motorhome. No, this one's awesome. So <laughs> this one's got a ton of space. That full side slide gives it so much additional room. Um, you got a big dinette, so lots of space, deep. It's actually, if you compare them to some of the actual towables, it's got about eight inches of more depth, like to the actual side, to the cushion side. It right? really so, does. So that's a beautiful thing. The other thing that people really love about this one is the space. It's got giant closets. Holy space. cow, this is bigger closets than my actual house. Yeah, so you got tons of space. Wow. So if you're going to do some traveling and you want to, you know, make sure you take everything with you, you got huge drawers, lots of space, big fridge, uh, lots of kitchen space too, which is nice. Uh, what, you know, Thor, Thor did a good job on these units. They really did. They, I they, love that backsplash. Sorry. <laughs> so they're all, all six-sided. So six-sided bonding, right? So very different than we used to see in a lot of the actual, um, in the towables, right? Where this is bonded throughout. So when I say bonded, it's a construction type. So these guys use aluminum and they weld the subframe. They put block foam insulation in between and then they basically glue all the layers together. So in this model, you have a bonded ceiling. You have a bonded floor, and you got all bonded sides, and you got that front cap. So this unit is awesome if you want to do some some hot weather destination stuff because it'll keep a lot of your AC air inside, and you won't be losing it. Because of course, you know those are the fortunate type that get to go south, they get to actually see what it's like to be hot instead of being cold, like us suckers. Right? <laughs> so uh, this slide, when it comes in, the bed flips over, the whole thing comes in, right? Oh wow! Super simple. The other awesome thing about this particular layout is the fact that. From a couple side of things, you actually both have access to your side of the bed. So no crawling over each other. What? We can't have that. You got your own TV. So if you want to sit in bed, watch TV. You got your own TV. You got your own vent in your bedroom. Uh, lots of big windows. You got a window at the back. Big emergency exit window. What I really like about this window is the fact that when you're driving, you can still see back, right? Some people, that's really important to mm -hmm. Uh if we're going to talk about driving, let's talk about the chassis on this model. So this model comes with the Ford chassis. There's different chassis, either it's a Chevy chassis or a Ford chassis. This is the F-350 chassis under this particular coach. Uh, and this chassis offers you the 6.8 liter V10. That's the signature engine for the heavy duties in the in the Ford models. Uh, they got So the warranty on the Ford is directly through Ford Motor Canada. It's going to be your standard six-year, or sorry, your five-year, 60,000 kilometer. Uh, let me try that again. Three years, 60,000 kilometers. You can tell I used to sell Chevy. See, I know always thinking five years more, you know. We don't need to get into that conversation. So three years, 60,000 kilometers pretty much takes care of everything. And then Ford gives you a five-year, 100,000 kilometers on your powertrain. Oh, wow. So you're covered for quite a while, right? Mm -hmm. um, either way, whether you're a Chevy guy or a Ford guy, in my opinion, they're both good chassis. Uh, of course, when you get into the larger units, you have to go to the Ford chassis because Chevy doesn't make a heavy chassis. Uh, one of the other thing, you know, one of the other things I really like about this unit, I want to show you one thing, Janine. Okay. So this is what the industry in, in now is going to. And last year we seen it oh, early in these. Wow. So everybody's going to a rectangular shower, and they're going to a rectangular shower because of the space in it. Uh, and this one's got fantastic space. It's got a draw, so it just pulls to the side style of curtain, so you don't got the crappy curtain that's always clinging to you because none of us like to deal with that. <laughs> Uh, man, and, you know me uh, so well, by the way. Yeah, and uh, you know, and they go to Dometic fridge. So Dometic, uh, Dometic's been building fridges forever. So a two cube ref uh, freezer, six cube refrigerator, right? And these are dual, so you can either run them on propane or power. The other awesome thing about this particular unit, actually, in all the chateaus we have, is they all have onboard generators. Nice. So they all have onboard uh, four thousand watt owning generators. So literally, you're driving along, you decide time to call it quits, pull over. Start the generator, start your air conditioner if you want, air conditioner will run. If you want to watch TV, you can watch TV. If you feel like making a coffee, pull the curry out, plug it in, make a coffee. It's pretty nice to have. It's actually, it's a very self-sufficient unit, right? Super easy to, and they really are ultimate for um, for traveling because, you know, traveling is traveling. You're not necessarily staying in one place for very long, so you're just going from place to place and you don't want to set up, you don't want to go through all the hassles, right? You want to get up in the morning and go. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, great, great deals on them for sure. Um, the other thing I really like, is you do have the, so on all the C-Class units, you actually have the, you know, the bed that's actually just over top of the of a driver's area, right? 
So that's a fantastic option to have. This just flips up so you don't bump your head. You can keep it stowed away. They got the flip out TV on this particular model. So that TV actually just folds back into place. Oh wow. And then locks. And like I said, so if you want to flip that up, you can flip that up, leave it there. Then it's easy to get in and out. Nice. But you know, if you want some extra space and you have a guest that shows up or, you know, if you're grandparents and you want to bring the grandkids along or if, you know, you're a family and you want to just buy a unit that you want to go travel across Canada, you want to spend more time. It's, it's such an easy unit to... To, uh, to deal with, right? And you don't have to have a tow vehicle. So you don't necessarily have to own a truck. If you're a family that just has an SUV and you don't want a truck, this could be your second vehicle, right? Awesome. But so yeah. how much is it for payments? So payments uh, still relatively cheap when you can, you know, when you consider everything. It's only $340 bi-weekly. That's your truck payment and your house payment, basically. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody that's come from the automotive world like, uh, like I have, you know, you understand that, you know, if you're going to buy a, a unit that's in the, you know, in the higher thousands, you're going to be you know, over a 72 or 84 month term, you're going to be, gee, closer to, you know, you're going to be closer to seven, 800 bucks bi-weekly, right? Which mm -hmm. is getting up there, starting to get pretty steep. So you can really, like I said, again, um, it's it's flexible, right? The, the, uh, the whole model built around RVing is that you're buying a lifestyle, you're buying flexibility, right? You want to be able to go out and do stuff, use your unit, you know? Not be sitting at home counting pennies, trying to figure out if you can afford to put gas in it to go use it this weekend, right? So. Yeah. The other nice thing that I like, especially with Chateau, is they didn't skimp. So if you go outside and you look, and I'll show you guys, there's there's awning toppers on the slides right from factory. Um, and they give you a power awning as well. This particular model, uh, when you turn on Janine, you'll be able to show the, show the viewers here. But So power awning, full length power awning. So that there's basically, they couldn't put a longer awning on the unit if they wanted to. And for us, that's fantastic, right? Because I mean, you know, in our part of the world, it rains. <laughs> you don't say. The other thing I like, you know, I like the fact that the chateaus have always given you a ladder. I'm, I'm you know, I'm the do-it-yourself cheap Portuguese guy, I'll keep saying it. <laughs> so, you know, I like to go and check my roof. I like to get up top, make sure, you know, there's no sticks or poked holes. But you can see here, speaking about poking holes, that's the awesome thing about having that awning topper on your slide is that, you know, there is no debris, no sticks, nothing that gets in your slide, right? Because commonly what will happen is, you know, people won't look at it. They won't be a cheap Portuguese like Bobby is. <laughs> they won't get up, but they won't have a ladder, and they won't check to see if it's clean. So they'll close all that debris on their slide against their unit. And eventually what happens is it tears, causes leaks, causes issues, right? So yeah, Chateau's, good deal. Come on down. Me or Brandon, we'll give you a good deal.